We are one day away from the opening of the Africatown Heritage House. Today we got behind the scenes access to the Clotilda exhibition. The Heritage House opens to the public tomorrow, but today they held a dedication ceremony. NBC 15's Karis Harmon was there. Through our voice, you have heard and are bringing to life what each descendant an Africatown resident has always known. It's a story of resilience, determination, and grit. 110 enslaved Africans were taken from their homeland of Benin and transported to Mobile by ship, the Clotilda, in 1860, over 50 years after the transatlantic slave trade was abolished. Those enslaved Africans persevered, though. Once they were freed, they created a place called Africatown, sharing personal anecdotes with their community and passing those stories down for generations. Now their stories are being told on a much larger scale. This long awaited dedication of Africatown Heritage House, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> this process has been four years in the making. Um, and visitors will learn the story from its West African origins through the last voyage of the Clotilda, but really with an emphasis on the remarkable accomplishments and achievements of those who founded Africatown. The museum can hold 130 people with self-guided tours. You are given a device where you can listen to descendants tell their stories. Inside of the museum, they have artifacts like a slave collar and pieces of the Clotilda that researchers retrieved from the water. They're put in cases of water for preservation. It's our greatest desire that the message of this unique historical exhibition, above all, is one of survival against all odds. People coming from far and wide just to get a glimpse. I came from Seattle, Washington. On behalf of the descendants of the 110 enslaved Africans, I say thank you. Karis Harmon, NBC 15 News. Now, the international spotlight on Africatown started with the discovery of the wreckage of the Clotilda on the banks of the Mobile River back in 2019. Tonight, NBC 15's Darwin Singleton got the opportunity to visit the site of that wreckage. In fact, he is joining us live from a boat on the Mobile River right now. Yeah, Darwin, the discovery of the Clotilda truly changed history for Africatown. It did, and for Mobile, and if you think about it, for the entire country, this is an American story after all. Even though it begins in Africa, it ends here and continues here. It does not end here, actually. But it was pretty awe-inspiring to be on this boat, to travel the same path that the Clotilda did with very different results, of course. We're going by right now the uh, port of Mobile. It's on both sides of the river, and over here on my right, and we'll swing around here uh, beyond the marsh and the trees there. That is where Africa Town lies. And the um, interesting thing about it is, if you were coming aboard the Clotilda, you would not have seen Mobile coming up river. The, the enslaved were actually transported off that boat to another one and brought back into Mobile. So this would have been their first opportunity to see Mobile going downstream. Of course, it's a much different place now. There's the Cochrane Africa Town Bridge. There's a lot of buildings. And 1860 was a totally different place for Mobile back then. I think the thing that struck me, though, and we're about to show you some video from the actual site, is when you get upriver, what a beautiful, placid place it is for something so negative to have occurred in history. The video you're seeing now is where the Clotilda lies. It's underwater on the bank there at 12 Mile Island you'll see a, a structure. That structure is a fishing camp, and to the front of it is a large tree with, with uh, some instrumentation on it. That is to power the cameras, solar panels powering cameras, to watch over the Clotilda wreckage. Security cameras way up in the middle of the river delta. It's pretty incredible. But that is where Clotilda is located right now pieces of her now on display at the Heritage House. But it's still amazing to think of, of those people traveling on that vessel up this river 163 years ago tomorrow, and that today we're remembering them, a story that could have been forgotten 
but is now very much becoming part of American history. Back to you guys.